Hi, this is Dr. Quinn. We're going to go ahead and talk through our tongue and lip tie post-op exercises. The first thing that we're going to do is run our finger along the lower jaw to the left and the right slowly. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to get the tongue to follow the finger moving back and forth. This will stimulate the tongue to move and get some good stretch and movement in the area of the surgical site. The next thing we're going to talk about is called the finger nursing exercise. This is something you've done likely already with your baby, but you're going to take a clean finger and put it on the roof of the mouth upside down. So the soft pad of the finger is towards the roof of the mouth. The next thing we're going to talk about is the lip stretch. For the lip stretch, there's two. The first one is going to be pulling the lip up towards the nose and holding it for three seconds. The second lip stretch is going to be putting your fingers on the outsides of the wound, but right next to the wound and pushing up firm pressure into the nose. One, two, three. The next exercises are for the tongue. The first one is if you find it easier to just use one finger under the tongue. And so we're going to put a finger on the chin to scoop the chin down, hold the chin down. And so that rests under the lip in there. So you put your finger on the bottom lip on the inside, and then you take your other finger and push, scooping the tongue up towards the roof of the mouth. Scoop up, scoop up with a firm pressure, trying to pull that tongue up. The next one is where we use two fingers under the tongue. This is a bit harder, but you get a better stretch this way. So this one, you're putting a finger on the lip to hold the lower chin down and two fingers, one on each side of the wound, not in the wound, but on the side of it, pulling up. You'll do that three times. This is one of my favorite exercises. It's easy for the baby because they're asleep and it works really well. Push the mouth closed and the tongue up to the roof of the mouth. That way you'll suction cup to the roof and you'll pull down on the chin slowly putting pressure on the chin to open the mouth more and more. Eventually the tongue will pop off the roof of the mouth opening up. Then what you'll do is you'll push it back up to the roof of the mouth and repeat this exercise. What we want to do is do these stretches four times a day for the first two weeks and then we'll evaluate and see how many times a day we're doing it after that. Other things you can do that are really helpful are tummy time, the guppy exercises, and red light therapy that we have here at Milk Tooth.